Hi there, and welcome back to Interior Designer Place. Welcome to the last part of our rebuilding uh, Foundry Cove. This uh, project where we are building uh, five lots uh, in Willow Creek is ending here with this last lot. Um, a, I think two-bedroom, three-bathroom house um, in the same style as all the other houses. Very... Well, this modern combination with this presbytery style. Um, and this one is then the biggest lot, uh, the biggest house also. Not so much efficient in that, efficient in that sense, but... Um, surface wise it is big i imagined in this house a um the the wing where we're working on now would be like a, a an area where your family could sit or your family could come and visit or your grandparents could live in this house whereas then the main part of the house would then be the the really living area for the children and stuff um or for the 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 parents living here but then the part on the right would be the uh, living quarters for uh, what would be a separate living space actually with its own kitchen its own bathroom its own bedroom and then the part here we're working on would be then the open uh, space so yeah i think um as since this is the last part of uh, this series, I was looking back on it and being my first series that I did on YouTube, being very happy with how it turned out. Um, and I will certainly do something like this in the future again. Uh, I don't know if it will be the next video really, but just, yeah, maybe something completely different. I don't know. Maybe something CC builds. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where this goes. So I struggled, as you can see, back to the build, um, a bit with the floor plan. Where the stairs should go and what the right flow would be uh, for the house. But it turned out in the end uh, quite interesting with this um, big kitchen um, with an extension. There will be like a sort of a bay area coming. Um, I think this is um, like the 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 cherry on the cake for this uh, project but of course you will see so again we worked with this um, same style of kitchen that we did in the other houses um, a bit grand like this big uh, aisle there and then this very um, sunbathing um, well this this room really being very sunny being very open with a lot of windows yeah um, gives a, a very nice vibe to this to this kitchen and I put a fridge in which doesn't well if you if you've seen the previous parts if you haven't the playlist is in the description down below um, I tend to forget the fridge, but I didn't hear. So yeah, yeah. This kitchen is quite big. Um, really, a a house that could cater to um, well, hosting parties uh, and and really having uh, well, as you can see, eight guests over just at this table. And I could imagine you could change this uh, and for another table. But yeah, um, again, in with the same elements that we used in the previous builds, I am 
recording this voiceover at a completely different time, like um, all the other videos have gone up, and this one is supposed to go up um, tomorrow. But so for you, well, when I upload it, it will be on Tuesday, um, and it's Monday today. So I am looking at this being surprised at certain choices that I took. I remember this part with these couches that I come back to this in the screenshots and think that um, in the screenshots and in the, the build you can download my origin ideas of course in the description um, that these couches were too far apart in the kitchen of course these sort of like poofs in the middle of the room and I then uh, changed them and moved them together with the, the move uh, objects cheat and then we move on to this again same looking um, living room with these pink light couches uh, used a bit of a, of a different um, way of, uh, of putting the TV there a, again very generic um, feel if you haven't seen the rest of the, of the series the ideas that we're building this whole development in uh, Willow Creek in Foundry Cove, we removed all the all the other houses and are basically gentrifying um, this area and are developing these houses uh, varying between seventy thousand to one hundred twenty thousand uh, simoleons. So the the thing which makes this all blend together is that we use the same materials, um, the same vegetation, the same tiles outside. So the outside look is generally um, alike, but then, um, yeah, then the houses inside are completely different. And here we then make this path, lock them a bit, make this path a bit um, different and then I thought well this path is extremely dark if this was a residential area um, they would at least have some light lighting up this path um, or at least lighting up the house that would um, shine over to the to the path um, because I would think this is a very family friendly area and I don't think they would let it pass um, on their uh, estate board that they would let it pass that there would uh, be um, these dark paths so yeah and then we put a pool in here and then this is basically on the edge of, of all the lots and then I thought well but this is maybe a bit too open towards the street side where then the other I mean the town would be or um, whatever and then I thought this is too open we need some sort of shrubs or, or vegetation in between there to hide a bit uh, the, 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 the line of view basically towards the, the garden. Um, so as you can see there we then put in this, this uh, hedge which runs up to uh, basically the edge of the pool and then the front I leave quite open because I thought this house is more moved back. They have this perfectly manicured garden, this perfectly manicured grass, which they would uh, surely have a gardener for. And then again, these cute planters from uh, the, um, the, thing, the spa pack. And then some um, drain pipes for uh, realism on the build. And then we move on to this part of the house where I was not quite Sure. I in the beginning I was thinking I'll make a second kitchen there or a second living room, a formal dining area and a formal living room. But then I thought, well, that would be maybe a bit too much, and since the rest is already so clean and so formal, how would we then? How would this then fit into this area with these families uh, living together? And then I thought, but we always imagine families, uh, children, and parents. And then I thought, yes, okay, well then parents also get older, children also get older, why don't we move it along, as we then do here. We create this small private um, living room and kitchen area uh, for 
in my uh, mind the grandparents or an aunt who would live in there and who, or not yet is living there but uh, this part of the house is ready if he or she or them would like to move in and then could be um, yeah used as as a as a in the meantime uh, you can have a house a roommate there of course then you would change one of the arches and then lock it for the roommates and then only let them live there but like um, in this series we're not thinking too practical as clearly shown by the lack of fridges in the previous builds um so yeah i am just looking along i will try maybe something for the next series i will try some um quicker speed builds so basically speed builds under 10 minutes um maybe the same size of projects but uh more sped up and um more intense um so easier to watch quicker to watch uh so not uh, 17 to 15 17 minutes um but really quick and then maybe this might be more a tastemaker for the uh for the channel so we don't put in this huge fireplace uh with these um, wooden uh, these these wood blocks next to it, and then these big paintings, where as I said also in the previous videos, we then make this couch under it and we turn it into a um, a focal point for the room. So also in the screenshots, I took a screenshot of this this side with the fireplace with these interesting edges coming to the side. Um, and then uh, this couch and this painting and this just really as you will see in the screenshot actually works which is uh, nice sometimes you think of something and sometimes you do something and then it just works and that is just uh, great and then we have a small bathroom with a bath slash uh, shower um, still when I built this out of frustration uh, for the other builds where I did not have the space to put in a bath. And then I hang these curtains much higher than the windows actually are to create a feeling of, um, of, the bigger, of a bigger room actually. And then as you saw in the entrance to this second part of the house I put these orange curtains which really nicely color block with the dark um, blue walls and I um, am what I did here was I'm trying to set up some looking angles in how the the viewing would look if you look uh, throughout the house so we have uh, one master bed so we have of course one master bedroom with a bathroom and a sort of dressing area and then we have a sort of uh, with these sort of study area with these beds from uh, Tiny Living, I think it is. Um, the ones you have to fold open, so in case you would have guests, um, they could spend the nights there. Sorry, I, that was a, a unprofessional yawn. Um, within this bathroom with these beautiful, um, intense tiles which is different from all the other builds but it also as i said in the previous builds i would think that uh, this house would have been sold and that the owners would have had a, a say already in how they would like the house um, to look so yeah um i am building here uh and putting these lights in because i um really like uh, the lights with these smaller ones and then creating this landing area which is quite small um, but works uh, for the house because 
there wouldn't be much traffic going up. There's only a private bathroom upstairs. Um, so yeah, th there wouldn't be much going on. And then I decided to put this bed central and then put this um, Moschino uh, clothing rack there, which then creates this sort of uh, divider into the room and breaks this room up and then some paintings um, and then uh, their private bathroom up there and in general I think it worked quite well um, certainly if you look at the screenshots looking into the bedroom with this closet and I think I take the closet out or maybe not uh, with these colors with these red boxes of this white bed works quite well and then we put a sort of uh, study area in between here to yeah I found uh, the room too big and then here is where I got the idea to put in this um, extra bed uh, which you can easily turn into um, into a, a guest uh, bedroom or a, a study or a uh, child well actually multiple child room um, but yeah that is basically it for this build and for this series uh, I hope you enjoyed it if you do uh, consider giving it a like uh, consider leaving a comment uh, of what you would like to see next and let me know what you think thank you and see you again bye